In this video, we look at NPSP settings. NPSP settings allow us to change the default behavior of Nonprofit Startup Act. Uh, today, we'll focus on the people uh, settings related to the people module. So, uh, there is a NPSP tab that is available in the Nonprofit Startup Act application. This allows us to customize how our Nonprofit Startup Act works. This is available in NPSP 3. The first, uh, on the left hand side, there is a people section on the NPSP tab. We'll look at that in a minute. This one has, uh, 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 this one has a section called people. So, so this demo is, will focus on the people section. The first settings is related to the account model. The default account model is the household account model. This is also the recommended model. There were two other models which were used before in PSP3, but uh, Salesforce recommendation is not to use them anymore. So uh, uh, it is advisable that we do not change the account model and continue to use the standard default of household account. It is also possible to change the record type. The default uh, record type is called the household, ac household account and we can change it to a custom record type. The, uh, there are a set of fields that automatically get set in non-profit starter pack in the household object. So for example, the the name of the household, the formal greetings and informal greetings. These fields get set automatically based upon the values of the contact that we specify which are part of the household. These can be changed. The default conventions for the formal greetings, name and informal greetings can be changed. And once these are changed, all the existing data of NP of our Salesforce instance will get updated. So we must uh, at, at the time of NPSP implementation, we must make a decision. What, uh, what is the formal greetings, informal greetings, household name we want for all our records. NPSP 3 also has added a feature called address verification. What this does is that any address that the user is typing in, it will connect to a third party API, for example, Google API and check whether the address is valid or not. So as you save the address, it may generate a warning. By default, address verification is disabled, but we can enable it through this particular settings tab. Leads, as we know, are, uh, are potential business uh, opportunities. So the people we meet at, at the conferences, for example, they may represent a likelihood of getting some business and are stored in leads in Salesforce. When a lead is converted, then uh, Salesforce by default creates a contact and an account. We can change the settings. And if we make this change, then opportunities also get converted when a lead is converted. So normally we, we like to convert a lead when we think that there is likelihood of getting business from them. So once it's, it reaches that stage, then a lead conversion is performed and Salesforce allows us to create opportunities if we think it is required. Let's look at a quick demo of all these things. So this is our standard NPSP uh, st Nonprofit Startup Act 3 is installed in, and we have chosen that as an application. As we can see, this is the Nonprofit Startup Act settings tab. We can click on this and then this gets highlighted. On the left are the modules of the settings. The one we are discussing today is the people module. So when we click on this, these are the four settings that can be modified within people. Let's start with the account model. So let's click on edit and see what are the options we have.
the standard uh, as we discussed the standard accounting model is the household account model this is the other two models available are one to one and individual these uh, uh, these should not be changed uh, unless and until you are coming from a previous version and you are upgrading to NTSP 3 then you may want to keep to a previous account model otherwise if you are starting fresh with NTSP 3 then it's better to just leave the account model as household account the record type uh, the salesforce npsp has two default record types for accounts these are household account and organization for uh, uh, there may be a business need to create new record types and if, if once we do that for household then we can change the record type over here so that's what are the main fields for account model let's go to the household settings and uh, in parallel before we go into this let's look at a household record so this is the smith household which we have looked at in some other videos the fields that are customizable are the field account name formal greetings and informal greetings these get set automatically and they the values they get set are based upon our settings so for example when we will add one more account to this household then the formal greetings will automatically change to mr michael miss jamie let's say the new one is uh, is miss lisa so then it will become mr michael miss jamie miss lisa and mr john smith so automatically the greetings keep on changing and similarly the informal greetings and the household name gets set the the actual values that we want to display are configurable through this the how in within ntsp the people and then the households this is the place where we can change this the first checkbox is says that the household naming is enabled so if we disable this then the new households that get created in in those the account name and formal greetings will not get automatically populated the default is that they the household names these three fields of household get set automatically the rest of the fields are related to how the those three fields are populated so as an example let's just edit and see how we can set up the naming formats so uh, for example these are the these are the options so if we if we want to change to let's say instead of household we can call them last name family so this will become smith family the name field or if we select this then this will become sam smith household so in our case jamie smith household or jamie and and michael smith household so the the section here shows what will be uh, the sample values for these fields as we change this so if we switch back to the original one then this changes back to the original smith household the formal greetings again similarly have options here so you can have all the first names followed by all the last names or you can have a salutation and the first name and then the last name like that so for example if we select this then the the names the formal greetings become these let's keep to the original ones for now similarly we can have the informal greetings and then if we want something of our own we have we can select other and provide some value here we change this value here okay let's keep to the original ones for now the connector 
is uh, is how the last name is specified so for example sam sally and susie so if we make this and then this character will be replaced by this ampersand again let's switch back to the original and these are uh, if we make changes to these and click on save then all the existing records of household will immediately be changed so uh, the so we need to be careful before changing these if we have a lot of data so let's say i i have i change the household name and i call it something else and then i go go to the settings and make a change here and then save it then these these changes will be applied to all the households and whatever values i had set here will be overridden there are a few other fields the if if we have more than 9 names then it will show and friends so so john jamie and friends for example the last one is related to development apex development so unless and until you have programmers in house you should never change this so when we click on this button when we make changes and click on this then all the existing households would be changed okay the other settings are for the the second the the older accounting models so we i'll, I'll skip those because in this these videos we are focusing on on the account household on the household account model the addresses section is used for address verification by default this is disabled as we can see we can click on it we can edit it and select this and then it will start doing address verification so you need to specify which service you are using for for address verification for example you can use google address verification and then once this is enabled then any changes any new addresses you key in will be verified let's go to the last one so this one just has a simple checkbox which says that should we enable should we create opportunities when lead is converted okay let's uh, uh, let's look at leads a little bit more so we can click this and save it if we want for now we'll just cancel it now let's go back to a lead so we have a lead mr john swift on the leads so as as we discussed earlier in this session leads are are people which uh, which they could be our business contact business uh, when you meet somebody let's say in a conference Uh, where which could potentially represent a business, uh, then we store them as leads. When there is a likelihood of of getting business from them, then we can convert them. So this is the convert button. When we click on it, then the information in this lead will be converted to a contact and an account. The account information is uh, this is the company name. So this will become this and some other uh, information will be transferred to the the company information and the the phone number the the name of the person these kind of information will be transferred in the contact field if we have this checkbox enabled then when the lead is converted along with account and contact an opportunity will also get created by default this is disabled so so the lead conversion only creates an account and contact we'll look at other sections of lead settings in another video